Welcome to a TV channel dedicated to all things technology. In this video, we will discuss AEM topics. Whether you are new to Adobe Experience Manager or a seasoned pro, this channel is the ultimate resource for everything related to AEM. My passion for AEM began years ago when I first discovered its powerful capabilities for creating engaging digital experiences. From building websites and managing content to personalizing customer experiences and analyzing data, AEM has the tools and features to take your online presence to the next level. Through this channel, I aim to share my knowledge and expertise on AEM topics, providing in-depth tutorials, tips and tricks, and best practices. From basic concepts to advanced techniques, my goal is to help you unlock the full potential of AEM and achieve your digital marketing goals. So whether you're looking to enhance your skills, stay up to date on the latest AEM trends, or simply learn more about this incredible platform, you've come to the right place. Join me on this journey of discovery and let's explore the world of AEM together. Next, I will be covering questions and answers on real-time scenarios indexing AEM. Note, for code, please follow the description. Question, write in detail with sample code snippets what is indexing and how we can create indexes and improve performance in AEM. Answer, in AEM, indexing is the process of creating a searchable index for the content present in the repository. This index helps to improve search performance and enables content to be retrieved quickly. When a search query is executed, the search engine refers to this index to retrieve the matching content. Creating indexes in AEM is a two-step process. The first step is to define the index definition which specifies the properties to be indexed and the search rules to be applied. The second step is to create the index itself, which generates the index based on the index definition. To create an index definition, we can use the node types property of the oak index node. For example, the following code snippet creates an index definition that indexes the title and description properties of the NT, unstructured node type, lesser than index definition. JCR, primary type equals oak, query index definition name equals title and description greater than lesser than property jcr primary type equals oak query index definition name equals title property index equals true property type equals string divided by greater than lesser than property jcr primary type equals oak query index definition name equals description property index equals true property type equals string divided by greater than lesser than node type jcr primary type equals oak query index definition Includes equals and t, unstructured divided by greater than, lesser than divided by, workspace greater than. Once the index definition is created, we can create the index by creating an oak index node with the type property set to losing. The index rules property specifies the rules for indexing the content. For example, the following code snippet creates an index that uses the title and description index definition. Lesser than node JCR, primary type equals oak, unstructured. JCR mix and types equals greater than lesser than oak index JCR primary type equals oak query index definition JCR mix and types equals type equals lucene async equals async compact version equals two greater than lesser than index rules JCR primary type equals and t unstructured index definition equals title and description divided by greater than lesser than divided by workspace greater than by creating indexes in AI app we can significantly improve search performance and enable content to be retrieved quickly however it is important to carefully consider which properties to index and how to define the search rules to ensure optimal performance dear guys i just wanted to take a moment to say a heartfelt thank you for tuning into my youtube channel your support means the world to me and I am truly grateful for every single one of you who takes the time to watch my videos. Creating content for this platform is a passion of mine, and it wouldn't be possible without your ongoing support. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. If you're enjoying my videos, there are a few things you can do to help support my channel and keep the content coming. Firstly, I would be over the moon if you could hit that like button and let me know that you're enjoying what you're watching. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel to stay up to date with all of my latest videos. Lastly, if you know someone who might enjoy my content, I would be eternally grateful if you could share my videos with them. Word of mouth is incredibly powerful and your support in spreading the word about my channel would mean the world to me. Thank you again for your support and I can't wait to continue creating content that you enjoy.